Grammar Bites, Lesson 13, Punctuation, The Comma. Remember that Grammar Bites is a series. This means I want you to watch all the videos so you learn all the rules of grammar. If you haven't done so already, go back and start at Lesson 1. Let's start with a quick review. In the last few videos, I've been talking about punctuation marks. So the marks in writing that are not the alphabet or numbers. And these are the four most common ones. Do you remember their names? Period, comma, question mark, exclamation mark. Today we're going to talk more about the comma. When you look at the comma, how is it the same or different from a period? Let's compare the two. On the left, we have a period. On the right, we have a comma. What's the difference? The comma has the curved line on the bottom. Can you find all the commas? If you like, you can pause the video. Here are the commas. Did you find them all? Now we know what a comma looks like. How do we use it? Let me give you an example. Let's look at this picture. What do you see? I see leaves, a red leaf, an orange leaf, a yellow leaf, and some green leaves. Let's make that into a sentence. The leaves are turning red, orange, and yellow. First, find the period. There's a period after yellow. It's because it's the end of the sentence. So the period is telling us stop, the idea is finished. Now I want you to find the commas. I'll give you a hint. There are two commas. Did you find them? The first comma is after red. The second comma is after orange. Now what do you think the commas mean? The commas separate the words. So imagine the comma is like a line. So there's a space between red and orange, and a space between orange and and. The commas mean slow down. So they're not a period, it's not a stop, the idea is not finished. Just slow down, we need some space between ideas. Okay, let's do some thinking. Is this new to us, or is this something that we already know? What else do we know about commas? If they mean slow down because there's a separation, when do we use them? I'll talk about that more in the next videos. Here is Grammar Bite 13. We use a comma to separate words in a sentence. Thanks for learning with me. We'll see you next time. New videos in the Grammar Bite series will be posted on Thursdays and Sundays. Remember to subscribe in YouTube. You can also find my videos for free on my website, www.mycanadianenglish.com.